Hi, this is Holly of Holly Soap Making. In this video, I'll be making a lemon honey coconut milk soap using frozen coconut milk, honey, two different clays, and a lemony blend of essential oils. If you're interested in the recipe I used, you'll find it at the end where I enter it into a soap calculator. And all the other links and details will be listed in the description box below this video. Soap making involves the use of sodium hydroxide or lye, so be sure to learn and follow lye safe handling procedures during the entire soap making process, even while cleaning up. I have a safety section below this video with links to some of my favorite posts and videos by other soap makers, so if you're new to soap making or just need to brush up on safety, be sure to check those out. For this recipe, I used coconut milk to replace all of the water required to make the lye. Since I was doing a full water replacement with milk, I placed some in the freezer a day ahead of time. I also make milk soaps using the milk and oil method where I only replace half of the water. If you're interested in that method, I'll list those videos in the description box below. The next day, I weighed out the frozen coconut milk and sodium hydroxide and then made the lye. When making your lye, always remember to work in a well-ventilated area away from children and pets. It's really difficult to stir at first, so I just gently moved the cubes around until they started to melt and continued to add a little sodium hydroxide at a time. Once I was sure it had completely dissolved, I set the lye aside and weighed out the oils and butters. For this recipe, I started with the cocoa butter since it has the highest melting point. Then I weighed out the coconut oil and shea butter. While they finished melting, I weighed out the olive, avocado, and castor oil. combine them and set them aside to prepare my other ingredients. I prepared some gold Brazilian clay by hydrating it with distilled water. I hydrated the clay so it would be easier to blend in later, but you could always add it dry if you prefer. It doesn't take much of this clay to get a yellow-orange color, so I only prepared one teaspoon with just enough water to make it fluid. The second clay I used was a white kale and clay. I added two teaspoons for every 500 grams of oil in my recipe for a total of four teaspoons and blended it in with my essential oils. My usage rate for the honey was one teaspoon for every 500 grams of oil in my recipe, so I measured out two teaspoons total, and then added a few drops of hot water so the honey would be more fluid and easier to pour and blend into the oils. Keep in mind when using honey that the soap will get hotter than normal during saponification. You'll see in a moment that I started at a lower soaping temperature and I didn't oven process this soap.
As I mentioned earlier, since this soap contained honey, I did not oven process it as I normally do. I did place a blanket over the top and left it on the counter overnight. I used the blanket mainly to ensure the entire loaf went through gel phase and I didn't end up with a partial gel. But if you use more honey than I did here, you could leave the soap uncovered during saponification or even sit it in the refrigerator overnight or place it in the freezer to ensure it doesn't go through gel phase at all. I unmolded and cut the soap the next day. The photos were taken about a week later. Since this was a cold process soap, I made sure the top of lye was set to sodium hydroxide or NaOH. My recipe oil weight was 1000 grams. My lye concentration was 33%, which means my lye solution consisted of 33% sodium hydroxide and 67% coconut milk. I set the super fat to 6% and my fragrance usage rate was 50 grams per kilogram. Once you have everything entered, you select to calculate your recipe, then to view or print it. Soap Calc will give you a really nice listing of all of your ingredients, including the amount of sodium hydroxide required to saponify your oils. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found something useful here to help you in your soap making.